Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to do something with this monstrosity of a thing I made. Can anyone guess what it is? Anyone? Yes. That's right, if any of you guessed it, it's an ambulance. A very ugly looking one <laughs> that I made. And I didn't record it, making any of this on camera because obviously that's boring. And today we're adding sirens onto the scene thing. Yay. Also, now that I realize it, the back should be taller than the front. Bro, why did I forget that? I put my effort into making this ambulance that looks absolutely nothing like an ambulance. And now I forgot very important things that it should have. Now I can delete this useless stuff, and there we go, it's taller, not by a lot. Um, I don't know why I put small wheels on this thing, it just looks ridiculous. Yeah, so, um, I'm gonna make an extra block taller because this doesn't seem tall enough, and then we're gonna continue on with the video. So. Okay, so, um, what we're gonna do in this video, and, like I already said, is add sirens onto this thing. Add lights, and in the next video, I'm gonna make these lights better, because I don't know how to make the better flashing lights. More realistic ones. So then we're gonna finish this up, and then I think we're good. So then just go there, get the paint tool. Now I'm not gonna deal with the paint job in this video, but just for now, just gotta paint, I'm just gonna paint this. There we go, done, that's all I'm painting. Okay, so, Today, like I said, we need to make, um, just wait. Yep, like I was saying, we need to make the sirens. So if we're gonna make the sirens, we obviously need lights. And where we get lights, lights. Okay, now I'm gonna put some of these lights on. Now I'm basing this off of a real ambulance I saw before. Is there even a center to this thing? I don't even know if there's a center. I'm just gonna put all these lights here. Then I'm gonna put then I'm gonna paint more than one so. Wait, actually, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so obviously there are red lights.
You have three left, so. Then I'm pretty sure I saw blue. Honestly, that looks right to me. Now that I realize it, so. Now, I just realized. I have nowhere to put the logic gates I need. Okay, well. This is a job for. Put the lift down and hurry up and let's get the logic gates in. I guess we could just put them there. So now we can take the logic gates and the timers that we need. Next, we need them to be facing down so we can see what we're actually doing. Yep. Oh, that's it, okay, so then put these three in. Then we can put these into Nor. <laughs> wow. Okay, then we hook it up. Then we take a timer. Thing is, I'm just gonna make this the basic simple one I made for my giant cargo truck police thing. Because I don't know how to make them flash two times, then go to the other one, then flash two times. So for now, I'm just gonna do simple. Then I'm going to hook up the logic gate to the white ones. And now all I need is a switch to turn them on. Then we're done with the back sirens. This is going to be a super short video. Like literally. This video is going to be so short. All right, the door gets stuck all the time. At least the back doors don't get stuck, so now I can just go boop, but Oh yeah, I really have no way to put the switch. Okay, so where do I put the switch? I wish this door would just open. Wait, 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 wait. Let me put this on a lift. That's not supposed to be like that, is Okay, so now I think... Okay. Okay, now let me put this back on the lift and check the other side because... Huh. Like, why do I feel like the roof? Bruh. That's not uh, what I want, but... Okay, you gotta go weld the roof back on. Now I gotta go put the button to make sure this thing doesn't go crazy.
the please don't go crazy button. Should I just put the switch under here? Because I know there's space for me to... Okay. Right, now that I can actually open the doors, let's put it on the dashboard. I didn't know I could actually stand right here. Okay, so. Put a switch there. A switch there. And I think that's all. And three will be attached to the logic gate. And if everything works out good, so then I can close this door. Get in here. Yay, it works. The lights are actually working. Now got to set these lights up to maximum so they really alert people because Okay, now time to add the front lights. Okay, so this video is not going to be the shortest, but it's going to be quite short, I think. Because I'm already spend because I'm already 12 minutes into recording and yeah, so Is there a center? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, now two center lights gotta be white. I'm just basing this off of things I've seen, so white. Yeah, I wish I, I put a center on this thing. And I don't want to cut this entire thing in half and just go up. So, um, this is not going to make it so pleasant of a look, but I guess it works. Like, honestly, I think this is better than cutting the whole thing in half and having to rebuild everything. Hook the red ones up to the blue one. Which blue one? I need to make sure it's the right one. So that blue one. And I think that's good. 
In the next video, either I'm gonna figure out a way for these sirens, or I'm just gonna make a stretcher to put this, to put passengers into the back. Wee woo wee woo wee woo wee woo wee woo wee woo wee woo. Very fat for an ambulance. Also, I got an idea. This looks even better than night. Yay! <laughs> and also, like the police one, this also drifts. Just not as good. This thing can f fit five people in total if we had the stretcher inside here too, so. Just go. Wee woo. That thing isn't hooked up. That's weird. Now I just got a idea. If we also add those light, if we have those lights, we also got to add the side lights because it's just ridiculous not to add the side lights if we added those to the lights. So, what we do? Put the light on. Then we take that bearing, hook it up to a controller that I haven't put down yet, so. These lights are going crazy, but... Yeah. So now, I got to add a controller, so... I gotta take this controller, put it right here for some reason and then we take that controller take to that bear take it to that bearing then we can set the controller to 45 degrees on everything so and then if we take it off the lift it's not at 45 degrees wow not at 45 degrees. Actually, you know, I just got a better idea. Um, uh, yeah. I just got a better idea. Didn't I forget? They already have tilted lights. This one looks perfect, and so we can just take it and put it facing downwards. But why didn't I not think of that earlier? So that's just one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so. Now that they're all ready, now we gotta set them to the max because of super safety reasons. Because obviously, if you have an ambulance with lights, you obviously gotta have the lights for the side. So, next we can just hook these lights up to that switch for that we didn't put in use yet, so.
Oh, right, that button. Now I can take that button that it for some reason put all the way over down there. Let's see how good of a first person driver am I. This ambulance drifts, so that's one problem. Yeah, this thing's not good at drifting. Every time I turn, it just slows me down. Yeah, it spins out very easily. Yeah, this spins out too easily. I need to get used to the controls. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and I guess this is done. Also, for some reason, this ambulance doesn't flip. Bye!